I saw some persons who were punching. I heard when their classmates were saying they had a beef, so I shouldn't give them the gloves and see them working it out there. So they had a beef and we really enjoyed what happened. So for me, seeing that and hearing that, it really helped me to understand that my, 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 my motive behind coming here is really fulfilled. This is Mrs. Lola Cunningham. She is the director of the Lola Cunningham Foundation Limited. She is also the CEO of the St. Christopher's Nursing and Electrical Engineering Academy, which is a city and guilds approved center where we train nurses to international standards and we train engineers. What we are doing today for, for, through the foundation is to really introduce boxing in schools. We have gone to Anchovy High School and we had a very large turnout. And so we thought of coming to Herbert Morrison and we wrote a letter asking the permission to be here and it was well received. So we are on the grounds here. We have come to see a number of students who are eager to learn boxing. Some of them said they had conflicts and if they could have boxing as an alternative, they could just go in the ring and do something, you know, or go to the gym and just work off that energy. And some people would think boxing is a barbaric sport. You're now trying to introduce it into the school. Yeah. What was the mindset? Like, why did you come up with this initiative? You don't mind me asking. I came up with this initiative because it works for me. And this is why I want to cascade it into my country. My daughter was a delinquent in school. She would fight almost every day. But each of the fights, what I have come to realize, she wasn't in the wrong. But she was the kind of person who would fight for her rights. So even though she grew up in a Christian home where I said, Jasmine, don't fight. You can talk about it. She said, no, she has to lick you to make you know that don't mess with her stuff. And I travel around almost Montego Bay, the whole of Montego Bay, to see if I could get a school that could cater to her needs. And I came upon the Okora Magnet School. And one day the fighting still went on. And she hit a senior boy with a bat in the knee. And the principal looked through the window like I'm looking through right now and said, this is talent. She needed to get some training in boxing. And she called in a pugilist to train her. I was embarrassed at the time because I thought if I am trying to get her not to fight and she's here saying the child have talent, she's going to harness it. I was sort of confused. So anyway, I made up my mind and I watched, although I wasn't comforted. And the first week of her training, the trainer said that this girl has talent. And so I started to put my head where the trainer said. So I would like parents to really, when they have their children and realize that their children probably have temper, just speak to a guidance counselor or find somewhere that have a sport like this. It will help them not to use knives because that was the direction my daughter was going. I even tell her I have to take her to the police station to say she never mind because she would wear the bangles that the police have. I say it's not bangle, it's a handcuff. And she wouldn't she wouldn't care less. However, yeah, however, with my intervention, I try to go where I see she is heading. I try to get her the training. I realized that she was enjoying it. She would do her homework quickly to get to do the boxing. And so the trainer put her into the national championship. And she was 15 at the time. And they didn't have any girl to fight her. They gave her a 24-year-old young lady. And she had a good show at the national competitions. So from there, she has been going to foreign lands to perfect her craft. she been to Bahamas. she been all over the place. She went to Dominica. And as you, see, you weren't here when she was showing her slide, she knocked out this girl and she became the champion of the Caribbean. Right. I said, wow, this is amazing. 
So I have my foundation and I said, if I could cook some food and give to some of these students who are leaving high school to make trouble on the road, our Jamaica would be a better Jamaica if we could harness the talents that these students who are leaving school sitting down. If we could harness the talent because they can fight, they will rob you, cut off your handbag, they can run, they have the energy. If you could use up that energy into something positive and get them trips abroad, because when they are amateurs like this, we take them to other countries to get to meet other people and to do the fighting. And it looks so good and sounds very nice. They dress up in their nice little Jamaica suit and they are boxers. So I said, all right, Jasmine, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to provide you with the money. So I get a bus and I pick up some children after school and I take them to the national gym, which is at Jared Park. Because one of the problems I used to have is when my daughter finishes training, I don't want her to leave other people's children on the road unprotected. So I said, the best thing I could ever do is to get a bus, pay for the charter, take the children to their communities when we train them. So that is the purpose of the Lola Cunningham Foundation. I do believe that children, like my child, eat a lot and would want a refreshment. So I use up the money from my college. I use it and I buy water, I buy Gatorade, I buy chicken, I curry it, I get some rice and I cook. And I have treat for them, share ice cream. So it is fun. And of course, I get them to learn foreign languages. I get them to do public speaking. I said, what if you win? What would you say to the rest of the world? And when I hear the bad English, I say, no, you know what? I'm going to hook up with an English teacher. And you see, when you come, you're going to do half an hour of studies. And then you'll spend two hours in training. That's, I said, deal or no deal? That's a deal. So I said, all right, good. So when they do well, I'm going to either buy your school bag because if your school bag tear up and you're doing boxing, that look bad. So uh, from the foundation, I am going to get you a bag or I'm going to get you a book or I'm going to get you pens. And so they always come because they know that they can get something to eat and they are being appreciated. When I hug one of them one of the day, they said their mother don't hug them. And that is something I found out. They need love. Boxing helped me a lot. Uh, it helped me with anger management and discipline. It developed a unique life skill that I needed and how to uh, maneuver what I was thinking or what was going through my head, the second thoughts and, you know, what my actions could lead up to. Because as a delinquent child, I wasn't really thinking. I, I was just on top of the world and think I was like the baddest thing. And, you know, so um, boxing taught me self-control and timing, you know. Apparently, you had a lot of pent-up anger in you. How did you feel when you went into the gym and was able to get all of that out? I, I was filled with rage. And surprisingly, um, I actually broke down at one training session. I didn't know that so much anger was built up in me. And it was more than a joyful moment for me in the gym to just be explosive. And it was an area that I knew that I could be this explosive and not get into any trouble. So it was really a nice feeling. So let me ask you. Yes, miss. What is the feedback you've been getting? Today's the first day coming into Herbert Mars. Right. It was really welcoming. And I felt very proud to know that you know, the principal had given way and allowed us to come in. To me, it is an intervention because at least I saw some persons who were punching. I heard when their classmates were saying they had a beef, so I shouldn't give them the gloves and see them working it out there. So they had a beef and we really enjoyed what happened. So for me, seeing that and hearing that, it really helped me to understand that my, 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 my motive behind coming here right. is really fulfilled. So you were a part of the, the boxing workshop earlier. Talk to me about it. Miss, the boxing program was okay. It was 
a good experience. I I was previously a boxer at my primary school, so having the chance to get back, get back into boxing was good. And learning a few stuff was nice because like I wanted to know a, a, more, a little bit more about boxing. What is it about boxing you wanted to learn more about? It's like the move because like before I used to do um, a few moves and like in the competitions I used to get them wrong. So I used to get disqualified. So now like I have the chance now I can let get to learn the correct ways and the right directions. You were one of them who was inside your practicing, your boxing. You know, what was that feeling like? I know you've been a part of boxing for a while now, but coming back into it today, being a part of it. Yes, it was, it was okay. It was a good experience. It was a good experience. From my, from my point of view. You said it, you went into Anchovy High School as yes, well. Yes, yes. And now Herbert Morris. Yes. You plan on going into other schools. Yes, I'm going into Cornwall College. I'm going into Irwin High and I'm going into Mushet High. What about some of the all girls schools? Yes, yes, I, I consider going there, especially because I found out that my daughter right. is a female and now she is a champion of the entire Caribbean. Right. She is also the manager of the Montego Bay National Gym and she spends her time in boxing. If she's sleeping, it's boxing. She wake up, boxing. She have clients from all the way in St. Elizabeth. Right. So what I do, I even provide for lodgement for them because right. I have a large home. Right. And I heard that this young lady is hitting back her mom. Right. I tried to find out what it was. She said she don't like the partner that her mother has. And the mother said she is there all along and never know. So she will take her to the boxing club to get that child into boxing and she's one of the best young girls we have you were a part of the the boxing workshop what was it like feedback was honestly better than i expected um, the experience that they showed us it was quite good i learned a lot of things is it something that you would want to get involved with moving forward it's well technically yes but i'm already involved in it so it's not really nothing new to me, but I've learned a lot. What is it like being a part of boxing? The boxing community is a really good thing to be a part of as you can learn new things and you can learn how to defend yourself in this situation. What other plans do you have for you? My other plans that I have, I'll be going into a meeting with the president of the Boxing Association of Jamaica and let him know my findings today. I am going to let him know that we need to get some sponsors on board because there are people out there who would really like to spend some money but they really don't know what to really spend the money on because if I did not have my daughter into boxing not because she loved the sports and it's a well-paid sport I would not know that boxing can control a person with bad temper. I never know. It was when my daughter got into it, I realized that she had discipline because she said, the coach said, everything is not me again. It changes. The trajectory changes. The coach said, I must be at the gym on time. So even when she would be at home and don't want to get up to go to school, maybe out of embarrassment that she fought yesterday, when it comes on to the coach, the coach said, I must be on time. And she would, she, the coach said, I'm not to eat fatty foods. So the fried chicken and all this, I realize somebody like that who love food, have the discipline to say, I learned this at boxing classes. So I do believe that the boxing is really a good start. What grade did you start? Is there a particular it doesn't matter the grade. Okay. It doesn't matter the and grade. I know you're going into school, but you know you do have some children outside of school. Yes. Right. Do you have any plans on incorporating sure. kids on the street? Sure, because we have gone to service clubs. Okay. And of course, when we go to service clubs, 
and youth clubs, we realize that we are seeing some delinquents. It doesn't seem as if they go to school based on how their hair look and based on how the clothing they are wearing. It seems as if they were out all day having fun. They are not really clean. They are dirty, but they have talent. You understand? Right. So we are trying to go even into the police force right. and to get some of the police to do boxing because soldiers are doing boxing and they compete, they travel the world and so forth. So if we could get some of our police men and women to probably join the sport, it could help maybe sometime to calm those who feel hostile when persons probably say something to them that they don't like. I think just as we are trying to change the mindset of children, I think the police do have persons who really would like to do that as a form of sport. You know? Is there like um, competitions that will be coming up? With yes, you? certainly. Yes, okay. certainly. We have been in dialogue with boxing coaches overseas and we told them that we would like to have some of our youngsters getting their little belts, getting trophies, getting scholarships through it because some of the parents or these children are of low socioeconomic background. And if they know that in boxing they can get a scholarship, they can get their uh, ward to be in a feeding program where they can get food or little food items to take home, like a few tins of mackerel, a few tins of beans, something that the children need to eat. Because sometimes they tell me when I try to do an interview like you're doing, they tell me when I'm trying to do my case study, like, why are you out all day? I said, not that day I had feed, miss. So in the company road, me beg. So I realized that there is shortage of food and the parents in the home, sometimes is one parent, not both parents working. You understand? So it's kind of hard. So I plan to stretch this and to make it real. Some parents will think it's a bit dangerous. Yes. As you can see today, boys, they're a little bit more They are hyper. Aggressive. Yes, right. yes. However, you know, some parents will be a, a little bit worried about it. I would say to the parents, just like how they send them to school, if they entrust their children into the hands of professional coaches who can guide them, let them know the stance, let them know the one two, let them know the rudiments of boxing, they need not worry. All they will see are champions and elite boxers for the future representing their country.